Hey guys, in this episode I'll be replacing the sway bar bushings in the Jetta. This job is pretty easy and is well within reach of the average DIYer. Instead of using OEM style rubber bushings, I decided to upgrade to urethane bushings. My Jetta has the 23mm front sway bar. The early Mark IV had a 21mm sway bar, so if you're not sure, it would be a good idea to measure your sway bar diameter. I bought a kit from Energy Suspension. It has two sets of end link bushings. That's because the Mark IV cars had different types of end links. One set of bushings fits the metal end links and the other set fits the composite ones. Since my car has composite end links, I'll be using these bushings. Okay, let's get started. First I need to jack up the car and put it on jack stands. Then remove the wheels. Next, I'll remove the end links. The bottom bolt just unscrews from the control arm. The top bolt has a nut on the back side. Now I'll remove the center brackets. The bracket has just one bolt at the top. The bottom of the bracket hooks into the subframe. I cleaned off the sway bar with some brake cleaner and put on some fresh grease. The brackets can only install one way with the hook facing down. And the bushings are contoured to fit into the brackets so the bushings also install only one way. That's something to keep in mind. time to press the bushings out of the end links. They aren't very hard to press out, although you probably can't do it by hand. I'm going to use a hydraulic press, but you could use a big C-clamp or a two-jaw puller or a piece of threaded rod with nuts and washers. Do whatever works for you. Okay, now we can press in the new bushings. The bushings might want to squirm when you're pressing them in. Putting a bolt through the center helps to keep them in place. Or if you're using the threaded rod method, you're good to go because you have the rod running through the middle. The next step is to press in the metal sleeves. It's basically the same process. Now the end links are ready to install. We can bolt them in and reinstall the wheels and we're done. Okay, that's it for this video. See you next time.